Hello Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your March 2023 reading. This is for March 1st through the 15th. So let's jump right in and get your energies. What's going on for Taurus from March 1st through the 15th? Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus. Okay, we have acceptance. Okay, there's something that well okay and we have isolation okay i feel like there's something that you're trying to accept there's something that you're trying to really process at the moment i feel like you're kind of isolating yourself you're kind of spending time within spending time alone to kind of process the information that you may have just received or will receive okay and we also have vanity so i feel like it's some it, it's some kind of energy to do with the way that you look the way that you feel the way that you um maybe carry yourself okay um but i feel like you may be changing certain things about you okay give me a message for taurus march first through the 15th okay we have failure i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn so there may have some been something that um, maybe didn't go exactly as you planned it may not have went exactly as you desired it to go um, we also have the death card at the bottom so i'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings so i feel like maybe something had to end in order for this to happen um and i feel like you're spending a lot of time alone taurus tell me more about this energy spirit give me a message for taurus what does taurus need to hear right now um march 1st through the 15th what does taurus need to hear tell me about this okay we have the judgment card we have the Four of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Death card again, okay? So we have the Death card twice because we have it here as well, okay? So there's something that's ending. There's something that is transforming around you. Um, this may be a transformation that you need to go through in order to bring forth this new beginning. Um, but with this judgment card and this four of wands, I feel like this is something that's being renewed. With the judgment card and the four of wands, I feel like this could be some sort of The word I'm getting is marriage. Is this some some kind of process that you're going through through your marriage? Is and I feel like there's some kind of decisions that need to be made for this process to be totally committed to. Um there's something that still needs to be done. There's something that is just beginning. But I feel like it's totally transforming whatever this is. It could be that if you're already married, I feel like your marriage is like transforming into something different. I feel like if maybe you're going through counseling or maybe you feel like something didn't work out the way it was supposed to and you felt like it kind of failed in a sense. So you saw a counselor to work on this marriage issue and I feel like it's helping you in the way to totally transform um, this into something new because I we have the full card on the bottom so this is some kind of new beginning I feel like this is some kind of starting over Maybe you're actually marrying someone for the second time. Have you made the decision to remarry someone that you have divorced? 
or re reunite a relationship with someone you have broke it completely off with. But this situation, something is being transformed. Okay, we have the fool again. So it's definitely some sort of new beginning after this clarification. And this is love. We have the four of wands and the king of cups. With the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And with the Death card, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. Okay, so I do feel like this is some sort of new beginning. I feel like this is some sort of new beginning in love. Um, because we have the Fool and the King of Cups. So, I feel like someone's taking a leap of faith after some kind of valuable offer is being given um after fe feeling stuck for a long time after feeling like something was not going to work out maybe you haven't had any contact with this person in a very long time you haven't had any you haven't been speaking to them. You've totally been stuck in this situation. And I feel like there was a lot of doubts. There was a lot of concerns. For some reason, I'm really getting that there was a lot of feeling of failure, a lot of weeping, a lot of crying. Okay? So, and I feel like something was... A mess okay but I feel like it's working it's totally transforming it's totally turning around I feel like with this with this knight of pentacles energy I feel like someone was maybe stuck someone was not able to move maybe they were caught in a position or they um, the person may already have been married so they were stuck and they couldn't move forward with you but I feel like with this full card in this king of cups there's a lot of love here there's a lot of feeling of admiration like they really want to nurture support and take care of you okay um Tell me more about this situation. I need to know more. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups. So definitely, someone is offering you their cup of love. We have the Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like this, this King of Cups, he couldn't break free. He couldn't. There was too much going on. There was something that he was working on. That's what kept them away. That's what kept them stuck. But I feel like they, the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like they, they feel like they're ready. They're willing. They're able. They're able to financially move. They're able to um, finally have this happy ending. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have more balance, more stability. I feel like someone is making this love a priority. Someone's putting you first. Someone's finally made the decision. I feel like the secret is out. You know, that, that's the words that I'm getting. The secret is out. So I feel like they're able to make you a priority. Okay. Um, very interesting. Give me a little bit of clarity on this. Tell me, tell me more about the situation, Spirit. Tell me more about the situation. Okay, yeah, we have the strength card. 
So I feel like you had a lot of patience. You had a lot of self-control in the situation. Maybe you had to stand by and let this person work things out for themselves because I, that's, that's the energy I'm kind of getting. You had to be strong. You had to hold back yourself to kind of isolate and let whatever was going to play out, play out. You know? But I feel like whatever this is, this King of Cups is ready. They're ready to move towards you. You see how the boat is moving towards the strength card? You're, you're the strength card. Okay, Taurus? And this boat is moving towards you. So, and I feel like this, this person is moving towards you now. They're able to take action. Okay? With this uh, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles... A Ten of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this is giving you the ability to feel some sort of way. You feel like you're able to finally build. Finally build your stability. Finally build some kind of legacy that you may not have been able to build before. This could also be a gain in income or um, something like that. But I feel like I feel like it's a gain nonetheless. You're gaining something after this action that's been taken. Okay. Give me another message, Spirit. With the Death card, and the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles, we have the Magician. So I feel like after this transformation, you're creating, you're manifesting this into your life. You're building this up. You're bringing this into solid reality. Okay? So something's being created. Something is manifesting for you. Very interesting. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this message. We have the Ace of Wands again. I feel like you or this person is really taking action. Look at this. We have the Emperor on the bottom. Total control. Total control in the situation. We have the Page of Swords. So I feel like this is something that you're keeping secret. This is not something that you're letting just everybody know. Um, I feel like you're holding this close to you because you feel like there's going to be people who are going to gossip. People who are going to spread things about you. So I feel like you're kind of keeping control of this action that you're taking. You don't want everyone to know your intentions or the steps that you're taking. Okay? Um, very interesting. Let's see. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more for Taurus. Okay, yeah, we have the Two of Swords. There's definitely some kind of decisions that you're making, some kind of choices, some kind of plans that you're taking. Um, I feel like there may be a need to compromise some kind, some kind of... Solution. Maybe some kind of communication that you're having. You, you know, it's kind of like a back and forth situation. You, but you're coming to some kind of compromise. You, you're finalizing some type of decision. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this is this is definitely bringing some kind of stability, solid ground that you're um, focused on. And the way she's holding that pinnacle, I feel like you're kind of nurturing this situation. You're holding it very close to you because you've invested a lot of time and energy into the situation. So you feel like this is a, a true gift, a true reward that you totally deserve at this time. Um, 
but it's beautiful energy. You may also be using your resources very wisely. Um, able to budget very wisely to fulfill all of your needs. With the Two of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords. So we have the Nine of Swords again. So I feel like in the back of your mind, we, we have the Nine of Swords twice, okay? Um, and we have the Four of Cups. So I feel like, Taurus, in the back of your mind, you still have some doubts. You still have some worries on what this is that you're creating. You still have the ability, and I feel like you're still working on this. So I don't feel like this... This full transformation, I don't feel like this full transformation is totally complete yet because I feel like you're still working on it. You're still trying to get rid of those lingering insecurities that it, are holding you back from manifesting what it is truly that you want. I feel like that's why you're trying to look at this. We have transformation, insecurity, balance insecurity manifestation so I, I feel like you know I feel like you're kind of speaking to yourself some sort of balance into your life but there's still some lingering insecurities there's some lingering doubts about the situation that you're manifesting because you truly haven't completed this transformation yet. You're still in the process. Okay? So don't worry too awful much, um, Taurus. Because like I said, you haven't totally completed this transformation yet. You're still in the process. Okay? So there may be insecurities. There may be still worries. But you have stability. You, you have uh, great knowledge. And, you know, you have the ability to be supported and grounded and um, have that in your life. Okay, um, let's get, let's get an outcome for Taurus. Spirit, give me an outcome for Taurus, please, for the 1st through the 15th. An outcome, please. Okay, we have the 7 of Pentacles, the 8 of Pentacles, sorry. We have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like this is something that you're actively working on. But this is something that you're trying to master. You're trying to gain more skill in whatever this is that you're doing. Um, but I feel like you're, you're building this up. And you're taking a look at what you're building. And you're like feeling more confident and more assured. You're, you're able to definitely move forward in this situation. We have the nine, uh, the Six of Swords again. So I feel like you're definitely moving forward into this new calmness, this new venture. Um, very interesting. <laughs> Look at this. We got the Six of Swords again. So definitely the Six of Swords definitely wanted to come out. Um, so you're definitely moving in the right direction because Spirit is letting you know this is the direction that leads to your happiness. Okay? This is the direction that leads to your stability. There may be a decision that needs to be made in order to bring this forward, but you're capable of making these decisions because the universe sees how hard you're working. Look at this. He's, he's working on this pinnacles, and he's just taking that one valuable pinnacle with him. Because he feels like he's going to let these grow some more. They haven't matured all the way. Okay, so I feel like you're growing. You're maturing. But as you go through this process, you're taking that important uh, pinnacle with you that you've created. Okay, so you're going through the process of growing and expanding mentally and physically. Okay, you're transforming. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. So I feel like some kind of truth, some kind of stability that you're leaning towards. Um, with the Queen of Swords, I also feel like this is having the ability to be totally self-sufficient. Having the, the ability to total trust yourself um, in the situation. I feel like you're totally able to communicate what this is you desire and really speak your mind. 
if you haven't noticed in this reading, I'm feeling very talkative and very communicative. Um, because I, th that's the energy that I'm getting in this reading. I'm feeling like um, everything is totally clear. I have the ability to really speak to you the knowledge that I want to put forward to you. Because and that that's the energy that you're sending to me, Taurus. Okay, so I feel like whatever you have on your mind at this time during March 1st through the 15th, you are going to be able to communicate very clearly what this is you desire so, because you're in this manifestation stage where you're speaking everything into existence. Okay, so be careful what you speak, be careful what you say. Make sure that you speak positivity into this manifestation. Okay, that's what I'm getting for you. And we have the Ace of Swords. Exactly what I just said. Exactly what I just said. You know, you're speaking this positivity because you're in this manifestation mode. Um, so I feel like everything you speak is going to matter. Okay? Um, <laughs> very interesting. Let's get some... Let's get some cards for Taurus. We're going to get some oracle cards. What else does Taurus need to hear right now, Spirit? What else does Taurus need to hear right now? March 1st through the 15th. If you have any questions, the universe is telling you, yes. Yes, you have this ability. Yes, this is coming towards you. You know, let's get another card for Taurus, please. Another card for Taurus. Okay, we have trust the universe. The universe is giving you these gifts. It's giving you this manifestation power. And I feel like your power is very, very strong at this moment, Taurus. Um, so feel grounded, feel ease and grace. And take this manifestation that I feel like the universe is gifting you. Okay? Um beautiful energy let's get an angel card for Taurus okay we have sacred self unleash your spirit express your gifts dance to the sacred rhythm of life and I feel like that's what the universe is telling you that you have this ability and we also have infinite abundance obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing beautiful okay and at the bottom we have humanity and benevolence stay calm trust in the good in yourself and others and see the light in the world so i feel like what spirit is saying with that taurus is to stay positive stay grounded Stay that well-rounded Taurus that you truly are. Because I feel like you are in your manifestation power at this moment. Okay? Uh, so that is the reading that I have for you, Taurus. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your messages and until your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you, love and light.